Okay, I just recently got the PlayStation 4 Pro, but whenever I try connecting to the internet, it works, connects, yes, but whenever I try to connect to the PSN network, it doesn't want to work. Um, it's, it's, actually, it's, it's actually very weird because the internet works fine, then why can't you connect to the network, you know? I checked online for possible solutions, but all I came across just in way I even came across the DNS, uh, primary DNS and secondary DNS that you have to tweak and change into 8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. I don't know, none of them worked for me. I even tried multiple DNSs, changed IPs, but my connection doesn't want to connect to the PSN network, which is quite weird because if I tried testing my connection, it would it shows that it's successful but when it's about to sign into the network it feels you know it's it's actually funny <laughs> and it was really annoying it was really really annoying you see you see what, what i'm trying to say here now it, it just feels i don't know okay so now i discovered that there was a way to walk around this for some people those DNSs, those primary and secondary DNSs, it, it works for them when they change it, when they tweak it. But for some people, none of those stuff works. So now you can see the error tools now. The internet connection is successful, which means it's working perfectly well, but the PlayStation network doesn't want to sign in, which means for some weird reasons, it's, it's not recognizing the internet connection. You, you understand what I'm trying to say? So... <clears throat> Um, now I discovered that if you can get the PlayStation Network to get signed in, then it's fine. Then you can use whatever net, um, connection you want to use in as much as you do not switch off your console. So now this is what I did to get the PSN Network to sign to get signed in so I can use my, my Wi-Fi. Um, unfortunately, this Wi-Fi wouldn't be able to sign in to the PSN Network. I don't know why. I really, I really don't know why. I don't know why at all. So now, what what I did was that I took out my Android phone and um, I switched on my mobile hotspot. First of all, I bought like um, mobile data for some. I think around twenty five megabytes for twenty five megabytes. That 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 should be that that should should be okay. Um, uh, mind you, it doesn't use all 25 megabytes just to sign into the network. It probably uses like maybe 5 megabytes or 8 megabytes. I, I think 5 megabytes to, to sign into the network. So what you do is you switch on your mobile hotspot. Then you go and um, connect to your mobile hotspot. Okay. So I'll connect to my mobile hotspot now. Let's wait for it. Good. So now I'm going I'm going to test the connection here now. You would see that using my mobile hotspot, my Android device, it would sign me into the PlayStation network. You, you see what you see what I'm trying to say? You say it's successful. So which means I can assess the 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 mobile hotspot so now mind you mobile data is expensive so i really don't i really don't want to use my my my, um, my mobile data on my playstation 4 pro i just want to get it to sign into the playstation network so now so here's what i do then now i need to go back to the wi-fi that doesn't work and set that up instead of my android device mind you i've already signed in so now it would be easy now for me to sign into the network because I'm already in. So now I'm going back to my Wi-Fi now. Let's just wait for it to connect. You see, it's connected. So now I'm going to test it. In. I'm going to test it now and you'll see that it's going to sign me into the PlayStation network. So for some weird reasons, I don't know, it, it just, it just wants, once you can sign into the, you see, it's successful. You see what I'm trying to say? 
that's just the way I can do it. So the only thing is that with this method is that whenever you switch you switch off your PlayStation 4 Pro, then um, you get signed out of the PlayStation Network. So which means you need to sign in again. But for you to sign in again, you need to use your mobile hotspot or if you have any other connection that signs you in then it's fine but if you can sign in with some other connection and it signs you in then you can always go back to your wi-fi that doesn't want to allow you sign in and it's, it's going to get in as long as your device has not been restarted so for me uh this is the only wi-fi i have so whenever i want to go online on my playstation 4 pro then i I use my hotspot to sign in first once it's successful and I disconnect it and um, I sign in with my Wi-Fi and get in mind you when I use my hotspot it it showers maybe around three megabyte or five megabyte just to get me sign in then I disconnect then I just disconnect yeah so that's it um, I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to get into the get into uh, FIFA to see that it's gonna allow me get it now. As you can see, that the profile it's on, which means I'm signed, like like I'm in already. So I'm just gonna go into FIFA 17 for you, and you see that it allows me go online perfectly well. Um, so for those people having this problem, this this is the fix I came up with. I discovered it works for me so I don't know um, everyone has his ease or own problems so <laughs> it might not work for you it, some, some other solutions the DNS changing um, of those DNS's might work for you but if it doesn't work for you and I, I, I suggest you give this a try I suggest you give this a try it works just to confirm you see that it, it signs me into the network You see, it's getting in. It's getting in. You see, I'm in. I'm connected to the E server. As you can see, I'm, I'm just gonna try going to the FIFA Ultimate Team just to confirm that it's it, it it's gonna allow me get in. I'm in. I'm just gonna go online. Oh, there is something I forgot to do. Oh shit. So now there's another problem here now. It it wouldn't Yes, it, it's connected to the server, but now I'm trying to go online um, to play games online. It does not let me go in. So, yeah, I think this is a very good, um, you see, now it's, it's stuck. It's not going to let me go in. And then it comes up with another error again. So, so, which means I can play FIFA Ultimate Team, but I can't play it online. So now, <laughs> yeah, going back to what I said, uh, you need to use your mobile data to continue. To, to, to also tweak this part of it too so um, I'm just gonna it's, it's just gonna get stuck here so I'm just gonna go back mm -hmm. I go back to that my Android uh, connection again and do it again I just missed that part so I'm supposed to tell you but uh, it's 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 better it, 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 it came up now so you see for yourself you know how to do it next time around so you see so I go, I go back to my Android device my Android uh, hotspot connected. Um, just wait for it. So 
so yeah it's connected now so let i'll go back to fifa and try connecting this again so i'm, I'm gonna go into fortnite him I'm getting signed in now. So now it's signed in, but now I'm trying. I want. I want, I want to go online now. So I, I. I want to go online. So it's. Uh, mind you, this can happen to any game, eh? It can. So whatever um, um, system you, what, what, whatever game you play in that doesn't want to let you go online with your Wi-Fi, then I suggest you do this first with your mobile hotspot. So I'm going to go online now, and it's going to allow me to go in. The tour. You see, I'm, I'm online. So which means I can play any game I want to play online. You see. So now I would go back and discount and switch back to my Wi-Fi. Switch back to my Wi-Fi. Okay, I'm back to my. I'm switching back to my Wi-Fi. Okay, good. Um, I can test it. It's gonna sign everything gonna work properly because I've signed in using my my mobile hotspot already. So it's sure it's gonna sign me indefinitely. So now, mind you, I've signed into my EA my EA server uh, with FIFA FIFA 17. It's gonna go in. It's gonna go online now. So basically, you just need to tweak it. It's just you just need to confuse the the playstation um, savers to allow you in once you in then you can use the wi-fi that doesn't work with with the psn servers so now i'm going to go back to fifa and i'll go into fifa to meet them back and go online and you would see that it works So now I'm going to go online. You see, it will let me in now. I told you, you see, it's it's just it's just simple. So guys, I hope this helps. But uh, I'll just do a quick summary. Before you use that that Wi-Fi that doesn't work with the PSN uh, network, first of all, use your mobile hotspot or any other Wi-Fi that works with it to sign in the PSN network and also to, to go online with your game first after going online with your game first then any with the game you play after going online with the game you play first then you can go back and switch off that um, Wi-Fi that um, mobile hotspot or that Wi-Fi that works with it switch it off and go back to the previous Wi-Fi that doesn't work with it after 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 connecting that Wi-Fi, then everything should work out well. It should work out fine because you've already signed in, so it's just gonna work well. So I can go and play games online and do what whatever I wanna do online. I hope this helps, eh? Uh, yeah, thanks guys. Bye.